Have you ever felt like your words hold a mysterious power? Like the universe is listening, waiting for you to speak your truth? That's because in a way it is. When you speak with intention and authenticity, you set in motion a force that can transform your life. This is about harnessing the power of aligned speech to resonate with the universe and attract the things you desire. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of speaking your way to fulfilling your desires? Join me as I explain how the power of war. These in the quiet corners of our minds, there lies a profound truth words shape our reality. This isn't just a poetic notion. It's a fundamental principle that transcends cultures and eras. When you speak, you engage in an act of creation that can transform the world around you. This is the first secret of the universe's magic. Your words are the building blocks of your life. Words hold immense power from the moment we wake up to the time we go to bed. The words we choose shape our reality and set the tone for our interactions. Words are not merely tools or communication. They possess a profound ability to transform our lives in ways both subtle and profound, whether spoken aloud or silently contemplated. The words we use carry energy and intention that can impact our thoughts, emotions, and actions. J. L. Austin, a prominent philosopher of language in his theory of speech, acts presented in How to Do Things with Words Explored, How Utterances Can Perform Actions, he introduced the concept of performative utterances, which do not merely communicate information, but accomplish something such as making promises, iving orders, or naming a ship according to Austin. The power of words lies in their ability to enact and transform social reality through the very act of speaking. Austin's theory emphasizes that for a performative utterance to be effective, certain conditions must be met, which he termed felicity conditions. These conditions include the appropriateness of the context and the speaker's authority or capacity to perform the act. For example, saying, I now pronounce you husband and wife during a wedding ceremony is only effective if said by someone with the recognized authority to conduct marriages such as a priest or justice of the peace. The power of words to enact and transform social reality is a central theme in Austin's work through performative utterances. Language becomes a tool for shaping social interactions and relationships. Words are considered powerful creative forces. The concept of logos in Greek philosophy captures the idea that the spoken word has the power to manifest thoughts into tangible reality. This concept resonates in religious texts as well where divine crea, tie-in is often initiated through the utterance of words. Let there be light. For example, in Genesis, psychologically, the words we hear and speak play a crucial role in shaping our self-perception and emotional well-being. Positive statements, for instance, is affirming, uplifting, and empowering. It focuses on strengths, possibilities, and solutions, rather than problems and limitations. Using positive language can boost your self-esteem, motivate you to achieve your goals and improve your relationships with others. On the other hand, negative language can be disemp. Owering and limiting it often focuses on problems, criticism, and limitations which can affect your mindset and interactions negatively. Recognizing and transforming negative language is crucial for fostering a positive environment and mindset. Everything in the universe is considered to be energy vibrating at different frequencies. Words being a form of energy can therefore influence the vibrational frequency of the speaker and the environment. This concept suggests that speaking positively can align us with higher frequencies associated with creative. VD abundance and well-being while negative. Speech may resonate with lower frequencies linked to stagnation, lack, and disharmony. This difference in frequency can affect how these words resonate within ourselves and with the world around us. By choosing words carefully, we can create a more positive and empowering reality for ourselves and those around us. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast still lake. You pick up a pebble and toss it into the water, instantly ripples spread out, reaching far and wide. Your words are like that pebble they create, to ripples that extend beyond what you can see influencing, not only your life, but also the lives of those around you. 
The universe responds to these ripples aligning itself with the vibrations you set forth. This is the essence of speaking in a way that works with the universe's magic. When you speak with love, kindness, and gratitude, you emit a frequency that attracts similar energies. The way we communicate with others significantly influences the dynamics of our relationships. Words spoken in kindness, empathy, and understanding foster trust and connection. C. Onversely harsh words or criticism can create distance and resentment by choosing our words thoughtfully and speaking with empathy. We can enhance our interpersonal connections and create a supportive environment for growth and understanding. But it is not just about words. The magic of silence and, and listening, as powerful as words are, silence and listening, hold their own profound magic, just as a painter needs a blank canvas to create a masterpiece. We need moments of silence to connect with the deeper currents of the universe. Silence is not merely the abs, and of sound it is a space of potential, a womb of creation, where thoughts and intentions are born. When we embrace silence, we tap into the wellspring of wisdom that lies within us, and the universe consider the wisdom of the Zen tradition, which often emphasizes the power of silence and mindfulness. Zen masters teach that in the stillness of meditation, one can experience satori, a moment of sudden enlightenment. This enlightenment is not a result of thinking or speaking, but of being present in the silence fully attuned to the now, this practice of sit. Ting in silence allows the mind to settle and the deeper truths to emerge, unclouded by the chatter of daily life. Think of the taste concept of woe, which translates to non-action or effortless action. Woe is not about doing nothing, but about aligning one's actions with the natural flow of the universe. It's about listening deeply to the rhythms of life and moving in harmony with them. This principle can be applied to our speech as well. Sometimes the most powerful thing we can do is to remain silent and listen in this receptive state. We become a tea. Unto the subtle messages of the universe and others listening is a sacred act. When we truly listen, we create a space for others to express themselves authentically. This act of deep listening can be transformative, both for the listener and the speaker. It allows for genuine connection and understanding. Fostering empathy and compassion in indigenous cultures, listening is considered a fundamental aspect of community life. Elders often impart wisdom through stories, and the act of listening is seen as a way to honor and preserve this. Wisdom words take on a life of their own weaving wisdom and tradition. This is the magic of listening in action. It is through listening that we receive the teachings of those who have come before us and learn to navigate our own paths. Silence and listening also connect us to our inner voice, the voice of our intuition in the hustle and bustle of modern life. This inner voice is often drowned out by external noise by cultivating silence. We create a space for this voice to be heard. Our intuition is the language of our soul, guiding us towards our highest G. God, when we listen to this inner guidance, we align ourselves with the flow of the universe, reflect on the practices of the Quakers who hold meetings in silence, waiting for the still small voice. Within to speak, this practice is a testament to the power of collective silence and listening. It demonstrates how in the quiet we can tap into a deeper wisdom that transcends individual understanding. This communal listening creates a sacred space where the divine can be felt and heard. The practice of mindful listening extends to our interactions with others when we listen with full attention without preparing our response or judging we honor the speaker. This kind of listening is rare and precious. It creates a safe space for authentic expression and fosters deep connections in our relationships. Mindful listening can transform conflicts into opportunities for understanding and growth. It is a practice of presence, patience, and compassion in the story of King Solomon from the Hebrew Bible. Solomon is granted wisdom by God. One of his most famous acts of wisdom was listening carefully to two women who came to him both CO. Aiming to be the mother of a baby through attentive, listening, and keen insight. Solomon was able to discern the truth. 
This story highlights the importance of listening as a key component of wisdom and effective leadership to understand the power of words. Let's delve into the role of intention. The role of intention beyond the literal meanings of words lies. The power of intention and intention shapes the energy behind our words and directs their impact. When we speak with positive intentions, our words become affirmations of what we wish to manifest, I. In our lives, this alignment of words and intentions creates a coherent message to the universe about our desires and aspirations. Intention setting is not merely about making wishes. It's a deliberate and mindful practice that harnesses the creative forces of the universe. Consider the ancient Vedic philosophy from India, where the concept of Sankalpa represents a solemn vow or intention. Sankalpa is more than a resolution. It is a heartfelt commitment to align one's actions with a higher purpose. When we set a Sankalpa, we invoke the power of our deepest desires and align them with the universal flow. This practice is a testament to the transformative power of intention to understand the depth of this concept. Let's reflect on the teachings of Rumi the 13th century. Persian poet and Sufi mystic, Rumi wrote, You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. This statement highlights our intrinsic connection to the universe. When we set an intention, we are not merely asking for something, we are acknowledging our role as co-creators of our reality. This awareness empowers us to shape our lives with purpose and clarity setting and intention begins with clarity. Take a moment to reflect on your deepest desires. What do you truly want to manifest in your life? This could be anything from personal growth and healing to success in your endeavors. The key is to identify desires that resonate with your authentic self. When your intentions align with your words, they carry a powerful magnetic energy that attracts corresponding experiences and opportunities. As you reflect on your speech habits and intentions, consider the words of Mahat. Magandhi, your beliefs become your thoughts, your thoughts. Become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. Your values become your destiny. Reflecting on Mahatma Gandhi's profound insight reveals a deep understanding of the interconnectedness of our inner and outer lives. His words capture the journey from internal beliefs to external reality, emphasizing the power of our thoughts and words in shaping our destiny. When we start with our beliefs, we recognize the core principles that guide our yun, understanding of the world these beliefs influence, our thoughts, the silent dialogue we have with ourselves. It is within this mental framework that our perceptions and attitudes are formed. Thoughts naturally manifest into words, the verbal expressions of our inner landscape. Every word we utter has the potential to create impact both positive and negative by being mindful of our speech. We can ensure that our words align with our deepest values and intentions. Words then translate into actions. What we say often dictates what we do when we speak with kindness. We are more likely to act with kindness when we speak with conviction. We are more likely to act with determination. This progression highlights the importance of speaking thoughtfully as our actions are a direct reflection of our verbal commitments. Actions repeated over time solidify into habits. These habits, whether beneficial or detrimental, become ingrained in our daily routines and behaviors by consciously choosing actions that reflect our highest values. We can develop habits that contribute to our personal growth and well-being. Habits foe arm the foundation of our values. They are the consistent behaviors that demonstrate what we truly prioritize and cherish over time. These values become evident in our character and the way we interact with the world around us. Finally, our values shape our destiny. The culmination of our beliefs, thoughts, words, actions, and habits determines the path we walk and the legacy we leave behind by nurturing positive beliefs and maintaining integrity in our speech and actions. We can create a destiny that reflects our highest aspirations. Gandhi's quote, S. Irves as a reminder of the profound influence we have. Have over our own lives by paying careful attention to our speech habits and intentions. 
We can steer our thoughts, actions, and ultimately our destiny towards a path of fulfillment and purpose. Once you have clarity on your intentions, what next? The power of emotion. Infuse them with emotion. Emotion is the fuel that drives intention. Visualize your desired outcome and immerse yourself in the feelings associated with it. Feel the joy, gratitude, and excitement as if your intention has already manifested. L. Inguists study not only the literal meanings of words, but also their connotations and associations. Certain words evoke strong emotional responses based on cultural, societal, and personal experiences. For example, words of encouragement like brave, strong, and resilient inspire confidence and determination, while words like weak failure and, and impossible can instill doubt and fear. The law of attraction posits that like attracts like suggesting that positive thoughts and statements can attract positive outcomes when we consistently use language that reinforce as our goals and aspirations. We send a clear signal to the universe about what we want to experience. This process involves not only speaking positively, but also believing in the potential for these affirmations to manifest intention setting also involves releasing attachment to the outcome. This might seem counterintuitive, but it is a crucial aspect of the practice when we cling too tightly to our desired outcomes. We create resistance and block the natural flow of the universe. Instead, set your intention, take inspired action, and trust that the univi earth will bring about the best possible outcome. This doesn't mean giving up on your desires, but rather having faith in the timing and wisdom of the universe. Consider the teachings of Lao in the T.A. Ching. When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. This wisdom highlights the transformative power of surrender as a means to achieve true potential by releasing our grip on rigid identities, preconceived notions, and the expectations we place upon ourselves or accept from others. We create space for growth, and new possibility is letting go is not merely an act of relinquishing control, it is an active process of embracing uncertainty and change. Often we hold tightly to our current self-conceptions because they provide a sense of security and predictability. However, these self-conceptions can become limiting, preventing us from exploring new paths or recognizing untapped potentials. When we let go of these constraints, we allow ourselves to evolve and adapt. The practice of gratitude amplifies the power of intention. Gratitude shifts your focus from lack to abundance, aligning your energy with the frequency of what you desire. Start each day by expressing gratitude for the blessings in your life and for the fulfillment of your intentions. Even if they have not yet manifested, this creates a positive feedback loop, attracting more of what you are grateful for. Once your intentions are set, and in used with positive energy. The next crucial step is taking inspired action. The universe responds to the energy you put out, but it also requires you to actively participate in the creation of your reality-inspired action. Bridges the gap between your inner world of intentions and the external world of manifestation. This is where the magic truly begins to unfold. Inspired action, diff ERS from mere action, in that it is aligned with your true self and your intentions. It flows naturally and feels right, often accompanied by a sense of excitement or peace. This type of action arises from intuition and inner guidance, rather than from a place of fear, obligation, or desperation. Inspired actions are those that move you towards your goals with a sense of ease and joy. But how exactly can you manifest your reality? Mindful. Awareness. Begin by cultivating awareness of your thoughts. And words notice how often you use language that may be self-limiting or negative awareness is the first step towards change throughout your day. Pay attention to your inner dialogue and the words you use when speaking to others set aside a few minutes each day for reflection on your thoughts and feelings to identify any recurring negative patterns in your language. Transforming negative language anguage, then replace limiting statements with empowering alternatives, for example. Instead of saying, I can't do this, you could reframe it as I am learning. 
and improving every day this shift in language acknowledges challenges while affirming the potential for growth and progress. By intentionally selecting empowering language, you reshape your mindset and reinforce positive beliefs about yourself and your abilities. Use present tense affirmations. Craft positive statements in the present tense, as if your desired outcomes are already happening. This technique reinforces a positive mindset and aligns your thoughts and actions with your goals. For instance, say I am attracting opportunities for success instead of I will attract opportunities for success. Repeat your affirmations consistently to strengthen their impact on your subconscious mind. These affirmations align your thoughts, thoughts, and emotions with your desired outcomes, creating a vibrational match that attracts similar energies. Visualize success. Combine positive statements with mental image of your desired outcome to amplify their effectiveness. Imagine yourself achieving your goals and experiencing the emotions associated with as. H success mental image enhances the neural pathways associated with positive outcomes, making them feel more attainable and real in engage your senses by imagining how you will feel, what you will see, and what success looks like for you. Cultivating a positive mindset. Cultivating a positive mindset involves more than just positive affirmations. It requires a holistic approach to self-awareness and personal development by integrating positive language into your daily thoughts and interactions. You can cultivate resilience, enhance your emotion, a L well-being and attract opportunities align with your aspirations surround yourself with positivity. Create an environment that supports positive thinking and language. Surround yourself with uplifting people. Inspirational quotes and motivational resources engage in activities that bring you joy and cultivate a sense of optimism. The power of words extends far beyond their literal meanings. Words carry energy, intention, and the potential to shape our reality by speaking with positivity, intention, and belief in our abilities. We align ourselves with the Lee, mitless possibilities of the universe positive. Statements serve as tools for personal empowerment, enabling us to cultivate resilience, achieve our goals, and foster meaningful connections with others as we harness the power of positive language in our daily lives. We invite the universe to work its magic, bringing us closer to, to our dreams and aspirations. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.